Hey everybody, Brock Freddy here helping you enjoy your ride. Check out this truck behind me. This is a massive Ford F-150. It's a Tonka truck. This is a big, big truck. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at this big, big truck and what makes it special and why come it's so awesome. Because this thing is killer. And, and Stacy, go to the BDC. Thanks for watching everybody. Let's dig right into this big old truck. Before we get started, I would like to thank Green Ford in Greensboro, North Carolina for the opportunity to film this amazing truck. You can find all of their information in the comments section below. Tonka exclusive black alloy wheels. Check out them wheels. Those things are absolutely fantastic looking. In the middle, it says Tuscany off-road. And all of these big old wheels are sitting on big old BF Goodrich all-terrain TA LT32560 R20 meaty tires. Check out the Tonka calipers. That's pretty cool. The front brakes are also ventilated. You can see right there there's a, a ventilated portion and that portion allows the brakes to be cooled. Man, look at those. Those things are just meaty. I can like, look at that. I can, that's a big old tire. There's your big old six inch suspension lift and that is by Tuscany. five inch black oval step bar and that's actually like the one from the factory but it's got tonka on it now on the sticker it says that this exhaust is a quiet tone performance exhaust with black tips now you can see those black tips there Check out the fender flares and the front vents on that big old hood. Man, that thing is just, that's a big truck. Look at that light bar right there. Just right there, you don't have to put it on, it's already done. There's your big old tow hooks. I would imagine that's if you, you probably are gonna be the one pulling other people out of situations, because I doubt you're gonna be pulling this thing out of a situation. There's a front camera. There's your fog lights right there. And, and look at that, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if these serve any real function or not, but it, it I think it just kind of makes it look more like a real toy Tonka truck, except different. Big old headlights, check out those lights. That, that, that's, a, that's an incredible look. You see how it's like one big piece and it kind of wraps around a little bit. You have the, uh, the official Tonka logo there. Take a look at the lower parts of the doors right there. And that, that just, I mean, it's, it's got so many different elements. You see the black uh, door handles and the, all the Tonka logos all there on the bed and everything. How cool is that? All right, so let's take a look at the key fob. Starting from the top, on the right side is unlock, left is lock, down from that is remote start. You hit it twice. And this is for your tailgate pop, and I'll show you that. And then your uh, panic alarm is right here on the very bottom. So you can hit that. And then you hit it again to deactivate it. So All 
so let's go let's go ahead and hit this one twice and pop the tailgate and i'll walk over there to show you that this is actually pretty cool so you can coming out to the truck and you need to get into the gate or the or the bed hit it twice pop that whoa do you see that drop down like that now, I, I'm almost going to have to get a run and start to close that. Look at this. All right, so after I popped the tonneau cover on this thing to see the carpeted truck bed, I realized I might actually have to kind of get a run and start or like jump to, uh, to close it. Look, look. So this is just the regular, you know, you come up to get in the truck and this is the regular door. I'm over six feet tall. Don't you love how big this thing is? You get your bed rug in there, full carpet on the sides, on the bottom, on the underside of that Tuscany tonneau cover. Oh, I see. There's your strap that you use to pull it down so you don't have to get a running start. Or you could just use this. So you obviously, it says no step, so let's don't step there, okay? You're just gonna step right there and the instructions for it are right there. So you can step up using that as your handle and access the back if you need to. And actually, on this truck, that's, that's a pretty functional step right there. And then to put it down, it's pretty easy. It's, it, they're labeled, it says one. Tab down there says two. So you just take that, drop it down. Push that in. Back up. Make sure it locks in place and that's it. All integrated into the tailgate. Now the tailgate here has got a little, like a little dimple under here and you can feel it. It's just like a, a rubber piece and you can approach that and you can just pop it and then let it go and it drops down nice and easy. Then when you need to put it back up, now you do have to muscle this up a little bit. And then there's your handle that you need to pull. Back on down. And of course, if you need to pull something, you need to put a trailer on it. Here's where you're going to do that. That's your connector. That's going to be for your running lights, your left stop and turn, right stop and turn, backup lights, and electric brakes. All with your connector. And then a uh, parking sensor right here. You've got four sensors on the back. That's your park assist. That's what beeps if you get too close to something. You use that in combination with your backup camera system. It also has like a, a, a camera system. So when you put it in reverse, you can see in your backup camera, it's got the backup camera with the dynamic grid lines and everything, but it also has like an overhead view. And I'll show you that in just a second. side of it is more like a luxury vehicle it's super impressive take a look at these seats these seats are absolutely incredibly comfortable I know on the outside of the truck that's not what you're gonna think initially from seeing the outside of it but these are absolutely luxurious seats check out the contrasted stitching there on the outer portions and then you have several panels going down the middle there that give you great support the Tonka stitched headrest that's pretty sweet right there. The bolstering on this doesn't sit up very high. It's a little bit flat, but that's actually okay because it's still plenty supportive. Power seats for the driver's side right there. Power tilt and telescope steering wheel. So you can go up, down, in and out. And you can also memorize that right there. These are gonna be your custom settings for your driver, for your seat, and uh, also your steering wheel. To start it up, all you have to do is have the key fob on you, put your foot on the brake, that light turns green, and you tap it to go. You can see here, your navigation system, touch screen is all right there. It's nice and flat, integrated into the panel. 
traction control off and your hazard lights are all right here and then you've got your 360 degree camera system all right there you can see on the right side it's like a overview of the of the truck from overhead and then on the left side you can see how that works it's it's showing you that it's the that what it's doing is it's looking out the front camera and each time you hit it and it, it basically goes to a different camera position the steering wheel controls over here on the left side is going to be your cruise control on the bottom and your multi information display control on the left and where you see okay with four arrows that controls the information right there that's going to be in the center between the tack and the speedometer on the right side you have steering wheel um, audio controls on the right on the bottom you've got bluetooth and voice commands and here in the center of the console behind the gear shifter is the lane departure and so you can hit that and when you do hit that you see down there in the gear selection right there near the odometer when you hit that that pops up to let you know that it's active in the middle of this of, of the console here you've got four big dials and the way to think about those big dials are the ones on the top are going to be audio to control the audio and the ones on the bottom are going to be to control climate so you've got radio climate you do have dual zone climate control and variations of how to handle the climate system are all in, in the middle in between those dials. You can see below the dials you have heated and air conditioned seats and in the middle of that is how to manually control your fan speed. You've got double USB box right there and that's nice because that can charge your devices. And You also have a lighter adapter power port right there on the left two cup holders and basically a cup uh, holder for for pens or pencils Tonka this is 44 this is the 44 of 200 of these made here are your controls for your four-wheel drive system and you can see two high 4a 4h and four low and then your trailer backup you can see here I just hit the middle I just hit the button that says trailer backup on the right there and it says pro trailer backup assist add trailer and this is actually where you're going to go and you can add the dimensions of a trailer about like putting little markers on the outside and lining everything up and you can actually memorize a trailer size in the system so that you can uh, basically when you need to back up to a certain trailer you can recall that in the system and it will assist you in that process here's your back seat you can see that the seat bottom for the back seat is actually folded up right now in the up position and that allows you to have a ton of storage back here and you could put a big old cabinet back there if you needed to there are your rear vents and you can see that the back seats are heated an outlet just like an outlet in your house and then you've got another adapter right there a lighter adapter with vents and the way this works is you'll just take this tab and fold it down and then the seat comes down that's the two person part and it's a 60 40 split there so you've got 60 here and then 40 there big back seat but you do got to work to get up there you got to climb up in it you've got a water bottle holder right there and you've got your speaker inside the door power rear window and i like the kind of the carbon fiber look of that material on the door there with a brushed aluminum handle you've got a big old panorama roof sunroof right there and you can see that it's covered right now with a like a cloth like material and you can take that right and you can use these arrows to open that that's a nice big old sunroof isn't it And that'll close the sunroof and then there's your shade again nice the switch right here this opens and closes the window in the back sunglasses lots of lots of controls right there for lights and your shade right there on the far left, in front of my left knee, I'm sitting in the driver's seat, of course, you've got your light controls, that big dial right there. On the far right of that, you've got two buttons, and that's going to control the gauge brightness up and down. On the far left of that, fog lights and also the truck bed light. 
and then in the center of that you have your parking lights headlights on manually headlights on automatically this button here is for the light bar that cuts on the light bar that we saw on the very front of the truck and and this control allows you to move the foot pedals well what do you think of that big old tonka truck uh i like it i like a big old tonka truck thanks for watching everybody if you found this content this video useful make sure you hit that subscribe button like it share it and all that other stuff and uh i sure do appreciate you watching have a wonderful day everybody